had several requests to do a what I eat in a day. And today's that day. Hey guys, welcome back to the Beehive. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, love for you to just subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. It is cold in North Carolina. No, it's not as cold as some other places, but for us, this is cold. I think it's not even 30 degrees yet. And it's supposed to be like a high of 34 today, I think. So it is quite chilly. All right, I am the first one up out of bed. Come on. You done? Pikachu. I think he likes the cold. I've had several requests to do a what I eat in a day. And today's that day. And as you can see, I've gotten up. I've gotten ready. I got my cozy <laughs> hoodie on. Yeah, I'm going to get breakfast started. So let me figure out what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to probably do hash browns and vegetables. It's kind of like my favorite go-to on the weekends. And I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee. And just like that, I got my food cooking. Kind of set it and forget it. Steaming those vegetables a little bit first. Um, I don't use oil when I cook, so I kind of have to let the steam soften the vegetables and then I'll take the lid off and cook it until they're like, not crispy, but you know what I'm saying? Like more like a sauteed look. Um, I'm gonna make some coffee. If you didn't see my haul video, go check it out. I did a huge grocery haul. And I got this mm, at Sam's Club on closeout. So we're gonna try that this morning. I'm also gonna have with it, um, let me show you. the. This is from Aldi, it's the oat creamer. So it is vegan, but let me make a, a little disclaimer. If you are trying to lose weight and, well, let's say you're following the starch solution or maximum weight loss, this is not compliant basically, but I'm at a point now where I can kind of treat myself and it doesn't really affect me. So I will have a little bit of this and maybe like a tablespoon or two. Another thing is I don't put sugar in my coffee. I use uh, New Naturals. Check it out, a link in the description below. I have it in my Amazon store. This is good stuff. Um, lasts a long time too, but it doesn't have like a, a weird aftertaste to me um, and that's why I like it.
All right, so usually at this point, I got a lot of steam coming out, so I'm gonna check it. Um, the mushrooms really do add a lot of moisture, and so, so do the zucchinis. So I don't want it to get like overly saturated with liquid. I take the lid off occasionally just to, you know, sweat some of that off. But yeah, this is looking good. I'm gonna stir it up and put the lid back on. And I just love my Griddler by Cuisinart. That's also in my Amazon store. This thing is amazing. I will cook hash browns on it. I do quesadillas. I do um, grilled cheese. I do sausages and bacon for the family sometimes when I'm just doing something small, you know. It's a great little kitchen gadget. I actually use it. Some gadgets I've gotten and thought, oh, that's cool, I'll use it. And then I don't end up using it, but that is one that I do use. The steam. <laughs> We are getting there. Check out yesterday's video. I did a video on how I meal prep and you know how I you know always have food on hand. Always try to set yourself up for success. Have those healthy foods available for you to grab whether they be raw, cooked. What works best for our family is I don't actually meal prep and make like a, a bunch of the same meal. I will ingredient prep and that way everything is kind of chopped and ready to go because they use onions, they use peppers, mushrooms, things like that. This is really good. All right, so I am ready to eat. The nice thing about the way that I cook as well, so hash browns are left over, there's plenty of vegetables left over. My family will incorporate that in their breakfast. So it's gonna be delicious. So this is how I eat all the time and I eat a lot of food because I am definitely a volume eater. I figured that out through my journey that I just have to eat a lot of food to be satisfied and not feel hungry. So everything I eat is very low calorie and in return it allows me to do that. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my vitamin. I take what's called vegan essentials. My doctor said this is a fantastic vitamin. Um, since I'm vegan, I don't get B12, so I get my B12s out of that. And then I also have been taking um, this right here. I got this off of Amazon. A friend of mine at work, he said that years ago he was turned on to this to take for like immune things and right now with the weather being like it is and everybody's so measly and stuffy um i take two of those in the morning and two at night or with my dinner basically so anyways oh, look it's a little hot still i might have to let it cool off but i'll see you at lunch getting ready to go take a two mile walk and it is 12 30. i'm not really ready to eat yet but however i'm gonna have a banana hopefully these are a little more ripe tasting than what they look um they're still got a lot of green so i went ahead and put my hair in a braid so it wouldn't uh, blow in my face while we're walking thinking about cutting my hair I uh, don't know how much off. I mean, it, this is braided and it's pretty long. I think it comes down to like the middle of my back, but debating, thinking about getting it cut shorter. So having a banana and then going for a two mile walk. Change of plans for lunch. I have a uh, lunch date I need to attend. Actually, I'm the chaperone of the lunch date. <laughs> so Ben lost a bet with Annika and he has to take her out to sushi. And I love sushi, y'all. Let me tell you. And you can eat healthy eating sushi. You can actually eat healthy. I'm gonna get like a veggie roll. Just something light. Cause I think for dinner, I'm going to make chili. I know you won't, you can't eat it, Ben. You'll have something else. He can't do uh, beans and stuff. I'm mainly making it for myself, but we're headed out to Sako Sushi. See you guys there. Here is their menu. 
I will say, I used to get the veg one, and the waitress just told me that it is not vegan because the uh, sweet potato is actually fried, and I didn't know that. So I went with a California roll and took out the crab, imitation crab. But anyways, yeah, these are what their good. options it are. Good, 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 good. It was very good. It's really good here. It was cooked. It didn't have much of a And this is their like, dinner made. This is what the kiddos got. What do you think? Um, is it good? The top, Ben. Let it cool. So these are spring rolls, but they're not vegan because they're deep fried and the same as what they do their meat. So, And then they come with a broth as well. Like, that just comes with it. I think it's like a pork broth, maybe? I don't know what it is. It's like soup. I know, they, they both like it though, so. Well, that was quick. Over here is mine. I got the California roll with no crab meat. Or spring roll just in my Look at Annika's. What did you get? Rainbow roll. Rainbow roll. Wow. I haven't really tried it. I've had like one of them before because my friend got them at this other place, so. Or at this place, but. Yeah. It I looks didn't good. Have them. And then Ben got. California roll, gotta as go always. The trusty. Of course, I gotta use some soy sauce. I love soy sauce with mine. <laughs> eh, we'll go low sodium, why not? All right, so we are back from eating some sushi, and I swung into Food Line. They had these big old bags of clementines on sale this week for $2.99. I'm hoping they're really good, so let's go ahead and have one. The skin feels really nice. They're not hard, so that's good. Uh, hopefully they're nice and sweet. I don't know if it's too early, but I thought for $2.99, I'll probably eat a couple of these at a time, but and throw them in uh, Benjamin's lunch probably. Okay, let's taste a clementine. They're good. Mm, they're cold. They must have just took them out of like their refrigerated area. It is currently 3:45. I am gonna go ahead and start. Thinking about dinner, what I'm gonna make. Uh, I know I'm gonna make chili and get some dinner cooked. Right after I eat this uh, clementine, probably two of them. <laughs> well, I went ahead and had a C4. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with dinner. It is 4.50. I'm gonna make some chili. Let me show you uh, my ingredients. I'm not really gonna go do like a full blown recipe. I'll show you what I put in. Uh, one can of white beans and then kidney beans. I also have a large can here of crushed tomatoes, uh, diced um, tomatoes, and these are the fire roasted. That's really good flavor, right? Two cans of tomato sauce, tomato paste. We got garlic. This is my vegan a better than bouillon vegetable um, paste that I'll put in there as well. Spices, we got chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, and I'm gonna do a whole onion, and then this is my container of peppers. I also put in my chili corn. Let me know in the comments down below. If you put corn in your chili, I like it. It adds a nice different texture and more vegetables. All right, so I'm not gonna use this uh, can of sauce. I think it has just the right amount of texture. Not too soupy, not too thick. How do you like your chili? You like it thick or saucy? 
I kind of prefer mine a little saucy. All right, everything's in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to about five minutes. Let it natural release. All right, it is dinner time. It is 6.15. We got our water. <laughs> I meant to say that I've been, this is like my fourth one today. So I drink a lot of water throughout the day. The chili looks amazing. I did taste it already. It's not real spicy, which is fine, but I'm also having a plate of broccoli. And in my chili, I have nutritional yeast, a half of an avocado, and some parsley flakes to make it look pretty. I'm not sure if I'll have a snack later. If I do, I'll check back. I am feeling like I'm getting sick though. I will say that as the day has gone on, I feel like a little under the weather. Remember I've taken these this morning. I am gonna take two more again, hopefully ward off anything that's going on. And maybe with eating those couple oranges with the vitamin C that will help as well. So the chili is really good. I would add probably another can of beans and then maybe one jalapeno. It has a little bit of heat but it, it's not like overpowering at all. So good though, I had to go back. I went ahead and got another bowl. We uh, might be entering a chili cook-off. It's for charity locally here. So I might put this recipe in with those few adjustments. Probably have to make it to taste it, make sure it's good. Let me know if you want me to vlog that experience. There's a lot of people that come in and bring their chili. Last year we went to it, we didn't enter it, but we were taste testing and the white chicken chili one. I didn't taste anything, obviously, just because none of it was vegan, but I thought it'd be a nice addition to add into the competition this year. What are your thoughts? All right, I am about ready to go to bed and figured I'd close out the video. Finishing up the laundry for the week. And yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit of insight on what my eating looks like every day. Let me know if you want to see any other videos. Give me some ideas. I really love chatting with you all in the comments as well. So leave a comment. If you're new, subscribe. And yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.